and welcome back to my channel. It's Loresia Andrea. So I am giving you guys the part two of the reusable frontal quick weave. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, make sure you guys check part one. I will leave the link in the description box and I'm sure it's going to pop up on the side of the screen because that was my latest video. So in part one, you guys did see me use this product. This is the Black Caster Miracle Cleansing Rinse and I honestly love this product because you can use this all throughout wearing your quick weave. I have had this quick weave on for about two weeks now and it's time to take it out and I have been using this product all throughout my time of wearing my quick weave because it helps me clean my forehead and clean my lace and still be able to have my quick weave in for quite a long time. So I just used the cleansing rinse to get the frontal from my forehead. Nani did go ahead and sew down my frontal as well as my wig cap in part one. So I'm just unattaching the thread so it's easier for me to take this whole construction out and if you guys are by yourself make sure you have some type of mirror in front of you I had a mirror in front of me because you don't want to make the mistake of cutting your hair obviously if you have somebody in the house with you or wherever you're taking your hair out have somebody else do it if you guys don't feel as confident but I'm just so used to doing this that it was whatever to me once I had a mirror in front of me So after I take out my frontal, I'm gonna move on to taking out my bundles. And because we did use two wig caps, you guys can just take it out exactly how I'm doing in the video. They come out so easily, it's definitely not tucking my hair at all. And I'm just going to use that same Black Caster Miracle Cleansing Rinse just to get the excess ball cap from my forehead. And then I'm going to move on to taking off both wig caps. And like I said, Nani did sew these down. So just be careful. Make sure you guys either have help or have a mirror in front of you so you can see the thread and you're not cutting your hair. And then once I take off the ball cap from the sewing portion, I'm just going to take it out the back and it comes off so easily. So moving on, I'm going to be taking out my braids. And because we had the Bold Hold Liquid Gold and the Wonderlay Supreme Spray, none of the glue or any product got on my hair. So it was super easy to take out my braids. Just for video purposes, I did leave this part in the video because sometimes, you know, people like washing other people wash their hair. So I'm just going to take some apple cider vinegar shampoo. It's a clarifying shampoo and it's actually from Peculiar Roots. They are a black owned company, which is sold in Sally's and I believe online as well. This was my first time using this product. So it was not even really like a review. I just used it because I felt like I needed something clarifying and this was right in front of me. So I just used that. And then I'm just going to use some deep conditioner from peculiar roots as well and this is their argon oil deep conditioner and i just put this all throughout my hair and use a dimming brush to comb that through and i did let it sit for about three minutes Now 
now we are going to thoroughly clean our lace in our bundles this is all the makeup all the lace spray on my frontal and I'm going to take this define lace shampoo and it is amazing this is the only thing I use as far as taking off any makeup or glue residue this does come up even if it is lace glue lace spray makeup anything definitely make sure you guys go and get it and check it out because it just literally gives my lace a super squeaky clean feel and look to it and as you guys can see all the residue the makeup the spray and all that nasty gunk is completely off that lace Now I'm going to use some shampoo and conditioner. I love the Ion Moisture Shampoo and I'm going to use that to shampoo my frontal as well as my bundles and I'm also going to use this Aussie Miracle Moist Conditioner. These are the two shampoo and conditioners that I use all the time on my bundles and my frontals. So I'm just going to apply that conditioner to my frontal and just massage that through. So I did categorize my bundles from smaller cut wefts to longer cut webs and then I even have medium cut webs and I like to just cluster them together and put a butterfly clip on them to make sure everything is all together I'm not losing any bundles or anything because this hair was quite expensive and it just makes it a lot easier to shampoo and condition your hair and just not having it just be a hot mess So this is what the hair looks as far as being conditioned and sometimes I let it sit between 30 to 45 minutes depending on how my day is looking but other times I do let it sit overnight and that's what I did for this video and this is the next day. My natural hair is looking all clean and cleansed. I just put it in a ponytail and sprayed some even lace spray to keep my baby hairs held down and these are the bundles air dried and they just feel so fluffy and silky and it just feels so good and I'm also going to show you guys the wefts of the hair you can flip the wefts over and reuse the other side or even if you do use the side where the glue was held it doesn't have a cakey feel to it and you can still reapply it using some glue and I'm also going to show you guys the frontal air dried front and back and you can see it is so clean of everything thank you guys so much for watching part two can't wait to see you guys in my next one and bye guys.